How bad is sugar-free colas? Um, I would say um, the main thing that you're going to be uh, looking out for. Um, let me see if I can. Um, I'm, I'm looking for things completely wrong. Um, I don't know if I can actually do it. Uh, so, so I I can't find the exact article. I'm very very sorry. Um, aspartame and all these uh, sweeteners they are quite thoroughly tested. I am not too worried about that. However, one thing I can say about um, sweeteners uh, before I get into the other part of sugar free colas is that um, even though aspartame has no calories. It does appear that some of these uh, sweeteners, and including aspartame, I'll see if I can find it. Um, artificial sweetener. Um, what is it? Insulin. Yes. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's very handy that it even selects it for me in the article. Uh, you can you can have it uh, for yourselves. Even though, even though um, it does not have any calories, let's say the aspartame and so on, the artificial sweeteners taste sweet. It sends a signal uh, to the pancreas that it must release insulin. Insulin uh, gets produced, but there is no sugar. As a result, there's free-floating insulin that goes into the cells to try and help them go through the process of actual respiration and uh, using the sugar from the blood. That creates insulin resistance. When you have insulin resistance, that is type 2 diabetes. So you can actually induce type 2 diabetes even with a sugar-free cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do cause, um, they can cause uh, long-term damage. Um, for the carbonic acid, on the other hand, it's um, as long as you're diluting that about one to one with uh, normal water, you will um, be fine. Uh, so, so the biggest issue is the carbonic acid. It will give you more of an appetite. But the other thing is it can go directly to the kidney. You've got a high concentration of this acid that can then calcify. The calcification of this will eventually lead to a kidney stone. If you're lucky, you pass that through uh, your urinary tract. If you're unlucky, it's jammed and it's going to hurt like hell. But as long as you're consuming enough fluids, normal fluids, it just has to be water, uh, you, you will not be at that risk. And, 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 and I, I want to... Um, I, I actually... Be, I was criticized for this viewpoint uh, previously because um, I think... Uh, 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 a medical doctor in the Netherlands just said, "Like, what if I'm, um, what if I'm doing a cause and effect relationship the other way around?" Um, so you know, you get type two diabetes. Fatty is um, uh, you you have insulin resistance. Your insulin receptors are not actually very sensitive. Uh, but but we believe that that's it. That's it, and it's fine. You're it's not type one diabetes because you're born with type one diabetes, right? It does not seem to be the case. The islet cells in the pancreas, which are actually producing the insulin, there is evidence when you go into type 2 diabetes, there is evidence of an autoimmune attack when you get to a sta status of insulin resistance. We're not sure exactly why that happens. I was just thinking that naturally this is going to uh, get into that state. But uh, I've also been told that maybe... Maybe the people who have a risk for the type 2 diabetes, they already may be obese. And then you would have a chronic uh, low-level inflammatory state. That low-level inflammatory state would prime immune cells to attack in situations where it would normally leave things alone. So you could slowly expect that a patient can actually go from type 2 to type 1. So be, uh, be, be careful about that. It's, it's better to resolve it early. And uh, I, I heard I heard some people um, saying about insulin spikes. No, 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 no. I, I know that you're thinking I'm mixing type two with type one. That that's my my thing. In type one, you no longer make insulin. 
What I'm saying is in type 2, there's evidence of an autoimmune attack taking place in your islet cells of a pancreas. If a pancreas islet cells are destroyed, they will not be regenerated. There is no uh, potential for actually um, getting back to the situation of having those islet cells. You will no longer be able to produce insulin. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, honestly, if you already have type 1 diabetes and uh, you're taking your, your insulin, you should be fine. 